Okay, our friends from <coughs> Darby Road Baptist Church here at the uh, usual place, the One Bell, between the One Bell and Cafe Nero. So that's our friend, ex post office guy, and he's Tom. So just looking at their stuff. Yeah, I think it's all right, I don't. Don't speak to him now, right? Right, see you later. Yeah. So where did this church and portion go? Um, an industrial estate. I see. Yes. Um, yeah. 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 I call that I had 18 years in yeah. Sussex. And, mm. Mm. It was a school, my first school, was Great Wolstead. Yeah. Do you know? I know, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Small world. It is, small, isn't small. it? Well, it's a big world, really. Where it's a small <laughs> world. God puts people together. You do? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you're coming from Burgess Hill. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Thinking of Burgess Hill there, yeah. Mm. You're not serious about that, are you? What? The banana was made specifically for the human hand to hold. Because it was genetically engineered over decades to make it that shape. Oh. It used to be a bit of a green lump. That's why it's right. like that it's human science. It changed it into that shape. I've never heard that before. Well, that's the problem. But you go into Marks and Spencer's, almost everything in there in the food and bed state has been altered in some way. Like me. A lot of stuff still out there you can't do. Well, yeah. And um, this is about evolution. Yes. You know, saying that uh, there was a big bang and a rock, then eventually a Coca Cola can. Wow. It's trying to get people to think, how did it all begin? Well, nobody really knows. I knew a lot of the theories about evolution seem like throwing a pack of bugs out of a plane yeah. and hoping they land in all their suits. Yeah. And I think that is, you know, most of us would recognise that's um, unlikely. Or another one that's used is about the, um, the chances of chimpanzees working at typewriters producing works of Shakespeare. Mm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but if you believe the Earth is young, then yeah, it would be kind of odd. But we know that it's millions of years old, and the universe well, is billions. How do we know it's millions of years? People say it as if it's fact. Well, and because it's only science theory. discovered it. It's not, well, it's a theory we based on evidence. can't be discovered, because we can't go back in time. We've got no time machines. Well, science isn't perfect, and it's always <laughs> discovering things, but it's, it's better than relying on, for instance, the Bible, which is just written right. a few thousand years ago by some people in a desert, basically. But it's impossible to produce a work like that naturally. Why? The Mormons because it? it's far, far greater. Well, the Mormons were using the Bible as their blueprint. But you've got to ask yourself, how do you know that that's the word of a god and not the word of man? Because 2,000 years before that, the, the Hindus wrote their lives. books. So, well, the, the Hindu book, which is older than that, changes their lives. But does it give them the strength to overcome? Obviously it does, because it's been around for 4,000 years. Which it, is... has, it has things in it, I'll grant you, which point to the right direction. But uh, to me, I don't think that could be produced solely as a product of the human mind. Well, I say that about the Lord of the Rings. I couldn't write that. I'm a writer. I couldn't come up with Lord yes. of the Rings. Oh. But that doesn't mean that it's supernatural. No, but don't you think J.R.R. Tolkien was greatly influenced in the faith that he had? Probably from and his Bible genius. Schools, yeah. He was a professor, wasn't he, yeah. of English language and That's literature. Right. Yes. And he had magnificent training and opportunities. Yes. And he had a group of friends who were intellectually stimulating. I just read a book about Inklings, Inklings. yes. <laughs> I yeah. Remember. Yeah, but that, that was his own intellect. 
It wasn't well, given to him. Grant you, but they. It, I haven't read the whole Lord of the Rings, yeah. but there must be a point at which it is finite. Hmm. Whereas, the say, of the Bible, there's a point where I've been reading that for since I was 15, so that's yeah. 42 years, and I still haven't reached the sort of end of that. Well, you've not read the whole Bible? Well, no, I've read it several times, but I still haven't reached the end of the oh, meaning. Oh, you're still getting a lot out of yes, it? Yes, I am. Yeah. 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 But yourself, what, what do you write? Oh, gosh. Um, well, to be honest, I do write supernatural stories, but they're fiction. Right. Because okay. I find it interesting. You know? yes. And I think there are things to d discover in the universe. You know, there might be an afterlife, right. there might be ghosts and things like that, but mm. we don't really know for sure. And in the meantime, fiction mm. is a way to enjoy that. So. Well, it certainly is, yes. Yeah. Have you got your work published? Um, I have a few short stories and I've self-published a few things. You know, so, Wonderful. Um, Great. Getting did you get a literary agent? <laughs> I did for a while, yeah, but it, it didn't really get me the book deal I wanted. Oh. So then I went down the self-publishing route, and that's quite difficult as well. Because everyone's doing it, you see, so... Yes. It's like a million books on Amazon self-published, so... Right. Yeah, so it's difficult. But well, right. certainly. Yeah. Well, I've written three novels. Oh, yeah. And uh, I haven't really... I did try last year to a literary agent to be interested in, I didn't. Uh, I tried 20 years. <laughs> but you can sort of publish anything, upload it yourself on Amazon. It, mm. Then the hard part is getting people to notice it. Yes. I mean, you have to go on Facebook and Twitter and just... I made it, yes. Yeah. But even then you can't be too pushy because people no. are like, oh, stop telling me to buy your book. So it's, it's really difficult. Oh, um, right. But yeah, you should look into it. Just self-publishing, okay. just put that in Google, and there'll be plenty of blogs which tell you how to do it. Yes. It'll look a little bit, like getting it proofread and covered yeah. and all that. Yeah. But yeah, you could do it. Are they religious books or...? It has got a Christian... Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a big audience for that. Um, Why not? I tried to make it different. That, so, that, that's, that's, what, um, that's what works. It does. Yeah. yeah. It says it will stand out. Yeah. I mean, how different is it? I mean, can you explain? I'm going back to... i trying to put in um, illustrations. Yeah. Uh, I loosely based it on an experience I had where I was in a foreign country and I had the most amazing holiday. Oh, right, okay. And I put elements like that in early and then I created the sequel and the sequel to that. Because oh, so I want to see my characters, yeah, you know, yeah, go through that. different stages of existence and how did it work for them. Well, the people like trilogies as well. They seem mm -hmm. to. So that, yeah, that's also it a good is idea. Ended up as a trilogy. Mm. And my idea was So does your character find God, or is it is it basically you, or? Well, he does find God, but uh, he's gone through um, bereavement. Mm. And it's 18 years after he's been um, bereaved. Does that reflect your own life? Uh, it's more uh, inspiration from other things that happened. Yeah. And what will it be like? Because no, no, I haven't been. Oh, right. Okay. So, That's good. <laughs> but, um, yes, glad to say. Have you, have you travelled around the world? Or? I've done a bit of travelling. And I, my earliest life, I lived in Singapore, because my dad taught there. Oh, yeah, what, what, what's their faith over there? It's not, is it Christian? Or? Some of them um, probably. They were They were yeah. Marty. Totally. But now it was the majority yeah. overseas Chinese. Probably Buddhists. And, so, yes, yeah. you've got most religious oh, representing. Yeah. But I wouldn't have been aware of it, because I was so little. Yeah. But there yeah. was freedom of worship. Which is good, whereas in Malaysia there were churches, but you could um, spread the gospel. Yeah, it's mostly Muslim. Uh, yes. Do you think right. if you were brought up in, in Malaysia, probably you'd be a Muslim now? Uh, well, and uh, parentage, really. So yeah. I think, although I'd say my dad wasn't a believer for most of his life. Yes. My mother discontinued going to church. And then I took an interest, and my sister took an interest, and she came back to it. And then my father came yeah. back to it because of the effects on her mother. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> She's not happy about something. <laughs> yeah. I used to work with this gentleman years ago. Did you? Yes, I used to work with you. <laughs> you remember me? How are you doing? Oh. Oh, I'm here, up and down, you know. You're still there, are you? Still yes, yes. Still. You're here every Saturday, aren't you? Yeah, just about. Yeah, yeah. You usually get up and with Tom yeah, 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 and young yeah. Harry sometimes. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's uh, <laughs> uh, Harry being buzzed by helicopters. Yeah, I think it's, 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 someone's going to miss him, you see. <laughs> someone's going to miss him at the high school. Really? There's some, some woman dressed all in pink or something. Really? And she's all a bit, she's a bit sort of... Not all that well, so I think they get on. That's what they do. Yeah, that's that's not much good. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, she would get lost amongst the football crowds, wouldn't she? Oh, she may be so spotted. Well, I mean, where is she? Yeah. Yeah, I hope she's all right. Where is she? Yeah, you got the position on it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, Harry was telling me about the uh, Christianity Explored you're having next yeah, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he invited me to that, so I think that would probably answer a little more of my question. <laughs> Why not? So, um, people can ask all sorts of questions. Oh, that's good. Why are we hidden in this earth? You know, what way do we go when we die? You know? What's it all about? Can I get to heaven by my own efforts? You know, that sort of thing, you know? I'd like to know if there's life after death, but since nobody's been and come back, you can't really well, actually, tell. Lazarus was raised from the dead. Yeah. Okay. Jesus himself was raised from the dead. Jairus' daughter came, uh, was raised yeah. from, from, from yeah. the dead. But they are stories, though. No, 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 that's what. No, he didn't. They were the stories. That's what he, what he did. He actually raised Lazarus from the dead. He called him out of the tomb. And he came out like this. Yeah. And he was all bound up. You know. Yeah. It's not just a story. Well, I mean, it could very well be true, but when it's something kind of supernatural, I think, is it more likely that someone just wrote it as a story, maybe to tell a lesson, or is it something that actually happens? And my logical brain says it probably is just a story. Same as the Muslim book. They have similar stories. And I'm sure you don't believe those. No, I don't. No, I don't. Hello, Hello. Mark again. How are you doing? <laughs> yes, how are you doing? If you ever have a of your short stories, yeah, I'd be interested to read them. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I think I told Harry about them, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just bring over the links for that. Sort of thing. <laughs> Quite widely. I mean, I like all the Huxley, so I'm not always reading things necessary that are yeah. pro Christian. Ian yeah. Foster, another one I read. You know, he'd like to see um, a new morality that's independent of Christianity. He'd want to build that in his time. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I've got some. I read Thomas Hardy, who's no yeah. friend of evangelical Christianity. Oh, yeah. Ooh, cold. Uh, he knew his Bible, yeah. but, uh, you know, he, he had a wife who was, his first wife was converted and they lived as virtual strangers yes. in his house. Yeah. And sort of, when she died, and he became reconciled to her uh, way, but, uh, yeah. if, oh, right. Tess of the Dobervilles, yes. you know, it's his indictment against oh, yes. um, yeah. evangelical Christianity, really. Yeah. Yeah, so Do you consider yourself the evangelicals at Derby Road? Or? Yes. Well, that's what yes. you're doing now, isn't it? It's evangelizing. It is, yes. Evangelical, we believe the Bible. We yeah. believe the Bible to be true. But it, and it didn't happen overnight. Yeah. For me, you know, it's sort of an ongoing process. I mean, I'm open to believe that, you know, I'm not believe, but to accept that it's all true. But because a lot of the, um, uh, what you get in the Bible, Noah's Ark and you know, Adam yes. and Eve and all that, to me it comes across as mythology. I mean, I can understand that. I yes. just want to know how you got from this is just something someone wrote down to this right. actually happened. Because I, I never could make that, okay. you know, that leap, even though I was, <laughs> I was brought up Christian. Yes. My family still is, but I just, you know. Well, I would need to know what's what I would have to do. To be honest, I would say it was the work of God in my life because I was brought up with evolution myself. So I yeah. And even when I became converted, I was still believed in evolution. But I reached a point where almost overnight, yeah. I changed my position. I had 
scientist friends who said we were creationists. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, so you you, you, know, you met a creationist? Well, I met several when I was at uni. I was at Reading. Yeah. And uh, there were all these students of science who said, oh, well, it, it, it's not. It, they were picking holes out. Really. Yeah. I've looked at both, but creationism doesn't really hold up against yeah. evolution. To me. Well, you know, you must be honest, that's right. You must be honest and you know, hold to that position until you're yeah. convinced otherwise. Is the, is the Earth 6,000 years old, do you think? Or? <laughs> I believe it's um, the Bible, it's 8,000 myself, but uh, yeah. that's what I've come to believe. Yeah. And, Yeah. Uh, but, uh, there were things like the amount of ozone in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. That if it were millions and millions and millions of years old, the amount of ozone that would have been created would far exceed mm -hmm. the amount that has been left. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I know scientists have like tested the Earth. They've, they've dated it with the. Uh, Mm. Uh, is it low carbon dating, all that, and they can tell how old oh. the decay of, of carbon. And they didn't want it to be moving gold, it just that's what mm. kept coming back. And not just to one, but scientists for the earth. That's yeah. that's what is produced, in the, in, that's the evidence that's produced. Yeah. I just wondered whether it can be the sequel to this one. I mean, would that be any good? Certainly, yeah. I mean, I say I'm open-minded. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of uh, believers in creationists. They don't like the idea of us evolving from a lower, like an ape-like creature because yeah. it just doesn't doesn't suit them. Mm. I mean, I don't particularly like it either. Yes. By all just look into the cell, they can trace it back to Africa and to ape creatures. And, and the ape-like creatures we have now share our DNA, almost 99% of it. Yes, so I it's like heard that, yes. What else could... The original proposition was the common ancestry. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Place. And one branch went off this way, and we have the chimps we have today, yes. and gorillas. One went off this way, and learned a bit more, and basically became us. But I also wonder, I also think that uh, why haven't these primates invented anything? Yeah. Well, the ones that exist now? Yes. Well, they have been observed um, using tools and in yes. social groups and doing a lot of things. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, which we're still discovering, they've stayed pretty much as they are. Whereas another group uh, has evolved into us. Right. Because that group did did different things, lived in different places, discovered different things. Could have been mutations. They've used existing things, but they haven't made anything. What the current ones? The primates. Yeah. Good. Well, so some you know, do, some don't. <laughs> I feel I feel that um, the Stone Age, and yet the mind of man was able to go beyond the Stone Age. Mm. So if these gorillas and such primates are living in the Stone Age, yeah. then in living in that state for millions of years, who would have thought by now that we would... Well, maybe. I know you get maybe. fantasies like, you know, Monkey Planet, the Planet of yes. Apes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Which is very interesting, yeah. reading that one. Uh, I don't, well, they say that some some genetic lines, the mutations, which we develop all the time, and that helped our group to become more intelligent, more adaptable. And that, that line didn't. That's the current thinking. But it, it is based on evidence. It's not, it's not like they see the room and just come up with stuff. They study it and go, oh, look at that. That's, uh, that's weird. But I do think that creation science, if it is Christian, it has to be honest. Yeah. yeah. And of course it can't invent things or make things up. So, you know, that's... Yeah. That's important. I don't think anyone in creation science has, yeah. has attempted to be unscientific in that. Mm. Yeah. Do you think the, the Noah story happened just like it was, or was it uh, an allegory? Or Yes, I do think there's good reason for it. Um, 
I know similar stories have been found in other um, civilizations and myths, Gilgamesh, for example. Yeah, there could have, there's definitely a flood, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know why God would do that. It seems a bit cruel. It does. But to remind us of the coming judgment. That's what it's all about. So there was eight people, which is known as family. Yes. And the rest of the world, which is, I don't know, 500,000 people, and they were all earth drowning slowly? He saw that uh, the um, thoughts of um, men were continuously evil. The children as well? And yes, that uh, well, children learn from their parents. They don't need to learn to be naughty, do we? Well, no child does. You know, can, you know, well, I, d I hope personally that that story didn't happen because that means God would have drowned babies as well oh. and saved just mm. one family. It seems like a myth to me. Okay, okay. But even um, saves the child that is um, below the age of seven, hmm. but they go to be with him in heaven. After drowning, so, yes, that would happen. Well, couldn't he? If he really wanted to get rid of them, he just zap, they're gone. That's easier. And there's a very interesting passage in two Peter, where yeah. it talks about Christ preaching to those souls who were lost yeah. in the flood. Yeah, which has puzzled me for a long time, and I, I, I can't claim to know an answer to it. But yeah, that does sort of cover that. Mm. And it just gives me, this, this, it's always creeped me out a little bit. I don't think Jesus would have done that to anyone. Okay. And yet he's one and the same with the Father. Yes. It seems that the could Father he, is very cruel. That Christ himself could be very forthright. Yeah. And the way he talks about the, the, the Pharisees, the yes. series in Matthew particularly, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, let you be. Yeah. You know, so he can be. Yeah. Well, these are just things which made, you know just made me think. You know, I just wanted to see your your right. your yeah. take on it because I've only you know sort of thought of it myself, and I, I need to look at it a different way, obviously. But um, well, that's good. Yeah. If you can do so. Yeah. Well, I think I'll be able to that's walk home now. But there's no crowds around. So if you <laughs> join us for coffee or tea, you yeah, usually have it near. Would pass. You know what I mean? yeah, we meet in Italian. Do you know the Italian cafe? Um, the which one? Latico's. Um, oh yes, down there. Yes, on this side. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. of the. Yeah. <coughs> I will still want to call it the Harlequin. Yeah, I call it that still. <laughs> <laughs> Much <laughs> better than that. I think we all signed a petition to, to keep it called the Harlequin. It'll because always be called that. It'll well, always then. be the Harlequin. Yes. I mean, I mean, it's, you know. The mm. inn too. I mean, that's, that's a silly name, isn't it? Mm. I came out of my house Someone and I went into the inn two <laughs> centre <laughs> and I went into a cafe in the inn two centre. Yeah. Yes. And I'll I meet you into out, the inn two. I came yeah. out the inn two yes. centre and I went into my home. <laughs> and it was yeah. all intuition. Eh? Yes. <laughs> eh? I mean, how silly is that? Eh? It doesn't roll off. The <laughs> it it's because they've yeah. renamed all of them as into Uxbridge, into yeah. Essex. Is that right? Yes. Oh. They've, they've all got the same owner now. Oh, well, someone. So they, yeah. That's the thinking behind it. justified the yeah. huge salary as a result. <laughs> yeah. You're still, you're still down the post, you're still down the... Oh no, I left yeah. a long time ago. Oh, I've, I've forgotten what you do now, yeah. I've forgotten yeah. What yeah. Uh, I'm just working from home at the moment, oh, but right. um, yeah. they all moved to Hemel eventually. Yeah, I know right? they did, yeah. 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 So that's where they are. It's a great big old place. I've been there. The Hemel one? Yeah, I didn't work there. I know I worked there. It's huge. Because they made me redundant, but it's up an airport yeah. there. Yeah, it's gigantic, isn't Never it? Again. Mm. Guys, I'm going to make my way home. Oh, um, okay. um, I'll talk to you again see and you. hopefully see you in March at the, yeah. um, the yeah. Christianity Explored. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's March yes, the 13th, that's why I know. Oh, 13th, okay, yeah. 13th. yeah. Friday. Yes, yeah, Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah. Friday. Tom or Harry is supposed to contact me, yet, so um, yeah, that's basically right. that's I'm not sure what time, it's probably about 7 o'clock or something like that. So mm. Yeah, that's so March the 13th, fun. yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, guys. Well, good to speak nice to you. Oops, sorry, I'm, I'm all tied up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you. All right. See you later. <laughs>